everybody. Gina here. Uh, we're going to do something a little different today. We're going to uh, do a, a bearing removal and bearing install on the uh, Blade 130X helicopter. Uh, Boca bearings. Um, they have uh, some ceramic bearings available for the uh, tail section of the 130X. And these bearings are um, designed to help with the vibration issues that this little helicopter has. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, uninstall the stock bearings and we're going to install the Boca bearings into the tail of the helicopter. These bearings are the SMF681X-ZZ bearings. They're the two bearings that go into the uh, tail output shaft on the uh, on the tail box. So we're going to get started on that and uh, remove the the uh, tail shaft and the uh, bearings and uh, replace them with these and then we'll go outside a little bit later and we'll fly the helicopter with the new bearings and see how it does. Now these are from Boca Bearings here in Florida. Okay, the tools that I'm going to be using, nothing fancy, it's just a little multi screwdriver, mini micro screwdriver set uh, made by Husky. You can get these at any Home Depot for about I don't know, six between six and eight dollars for the for the set. Uh, the little screwdriver tips come out of the, the end of it there and you pull the little knob off the back and there's three more uh, different size screwdriver heads inside of there. So about between six and eight dollars for this little set of screwdrivers and you're good to go. It's perfect for working on these little micro helicopters. And uh, so having said that, let's go ahead and get down to business and we'll uh, start taking the helicopter apart. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to separate the uh, tail slider from the, uh, from the, uh, the bearing. Let's see if we can get that out of there. Okay, it's a little ball link right there. You just pop that little ball link out and that will separate the slider from the, uh, from the, uh, forgot what that's called now, that the, um, the bell crank. There we go. All right, now the next thing we're going to do is we have to take this little metal part here off, the little cap on the end of the tail output shaft. We have to take that off. There's two little screws that hold that on. And you got to get in there and just loosen those up and then that little part will slide right off. We'll put that right there on the uh, mouse pad so we don't lose it. Then what we're going to do is try to gently get this bearing past that little assembly without tearing it apart. Looks like it slid back in there. But, uh, bear with me here. I haven't had this apart yet, so I'm learning how to take it apart at the same time I'm doing this video. Let's see. Let me pop the tail rod loose and maybe that'll help me get it to come out. There we go. We got it moving now. Okay, you gotta you gotta pop the uh the tail control shaft off too. So that whole that whole thing will slide right off in one little piece there. So slide that off, lay that down next to the uh, to the little uh, set collar there. Now we got a little the little spacer. Don't lose that because you're going to need to put that back on and your tail gear. Whoops. See, I'm telling you not to lose parts and I'm losing them. There we go. Now Take our little screwdriver here and gently push the old bearing out of its little little holder. It slides right out. This has got a flange on it, so it just slides right out. So we'll put that right there. And one on the other side, we'll just reach in there and gently pop that out. There we go. Both of the old bearings are out now. Now we'll get in here. We'll uh, we'll get our brand new uh, SMF 681Z8X 
Dash ZZ bearings out from Boca bearings. Let's see, we'll just pour these right out there so we can get a hold of them. These things are so tiny and they're so hard to handle and they're hard to see. But uh, we'll put them back in. It's the same thing, it's just reversed. Just pop it back in the little hole there and just give it a little squeeze and push it right back in place. And the next one. Put it into the little hole, squeeze it right in there, and there we go. That's all you got to do to get those bearings in. Now, you, when you're doing that, be very careful not to pull that gear off of there because sometimes that shaft will slide out of that tail boom and your little pinning gear up inside of here will fall out, and those things are a pain to get back in. So now that we got this uh, all situated, we'll go ahead and we'll start the process of putting our tail output shaft back in there. And we start by doing that, doing that we start by uh, getting it to go through the bearing where it's just flush on the inside of the bearing surface. Then we have to grab our little, our little deal here, our little uh, spacer. And then we've just got to get that little critter to go back over the tail output shaft. Now I probably should have used hemostats or tweezers, but I got little hands, so it, it goes back in pretty easy. Now when you go to push this back in, you can push that bearing out, so you gotta you got to make sure that that stays in there. And, uh, whoops. Before you put that back in, see I'm getting ahead of myself, we need the gear. The gear needs to go back in there first. So I'll take that back out and we put the tail output shaft back in there and then the gear goes in. And it's got a flat spot on it so you have to line that up with the flat spot on the tail output shaft. So we'll get that go back in there and then just kind of turn it round and round until we get her to line up with the hole. And that can take a little bit of doing it seems. Like I said, this is the first time I've had to take this apart so it's a learning experience for me too. Coupled with the fact that these parts are just so tiny on these little helicopters. I'm so used to working on the 50 size nitros and uh-oh, I popped it out. Okay, we'll try it again. See the flat spot towards me. And we'll get this critter lined back up. Dropped it again. Okay, let's see if we can get this thing going there now. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've had to take this little helicopter apart, and I am so used to working on the 50 size nitros. So, this is a little challenging for me to, to hold on to these tiny little parts and to get them lined up. So, um, like I said, maybe it'll be better to use a pair of hemostats or a you know, a uh, pair of tweezers or something to hold the little gear when you put it back in, but I think I can get it by doing it this way. So we'll, we'll give a shot and see what we get. Let's see. Tiny, tiny little gear.
This little guy's getting the best of me, I think. Okay, I got it lined up. I just can't get the can't get the output shaft to get lined up with the little D-shaped hole that it's got to go into. And uh, once we get that, my 47-year-old eyes are really not the best to see these little tiny parts with anyway. Ah, I got it. There we go. It just takes patience, that's all. Okay, now once you get the shaft through the gear, then we need our little we need our little spacer. We just pop that little critter in here. And uh so you use the screwdriver and kind of line it back up with the bearing hole. Slide that in there just like that. Then we need to uh, go ahead and get our our slider back on there, which is shouldn't be too difficult. Just got to be really careful not to break that plastic. That plastic slider ball off of there. There we go. It's back in there now, I think. Yep, it's back in there. Now, the next step, we go ahead and put our little uh, set collar back on there again. Just like that. and tighten up the little screws and you don't want to over tighten these little screws because if you do that you're going to end up breaking it off inside the little set collar then you're going to need a new set collar so here we go tighten that little critter up a little bit Okay, now, next thing we got to do is uh, replace our control link, and there we go. It's back together. It's got the brand new Boca bearings in it, and uh, we're ready to go fly this thing. And uh, give us a couple of minutes to make sure that the uh, battery is charged up for it. We'll take it out in the backyard and uh, take it for a little speed putt and see what happens. And that should take care of any of the tail vibration that I've been having with it. And um, so we'll be right back uh, with the flight uh, segment of this video. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're out here in the backyard with the uh, Blade 130X with the brand new Boca bearings in the tail. Uh, there it is on the uh, helipad. We're going to take it up for a a little flight here and uh, see what we get. It's really windy out here today. The uh, wind's blowing almost 10 miles an hour, so it might not be the most stable flight, but here we go. That's a mission accomplished.
think that's going to work fine. Um, just like to say thank you to Boca Bearings uh, for allowing me to be involved with this uh, Blade 130X project. And uh, seems like those bearings did a pretty good job for the tail vibration that it did have. And it uh, doesn't seem to be there anymore. So uh, I'll keep everybody posted as I fly it a little bit more um, in more favorable conditions. Um, and uh, let you know how how the uh, Boca bearings are doing. But so far it looks like they've done the trick. And uh, stay tuned for more videos uh, with this little helicopter. Thanks for watching.